Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it's the 30th of March and I just wanted to talk about the new Fent. There's a 728 which has just come out. Uh, it's uh, priced at £250,000. It's got a 7.5 litre Agco engine, so they've changed from Deutz Far. I'm sure a lot of the Fent purists will be not very happy about that. But I think years ago, Fent bought Sisu, which make engines in Finland, diesel engines, and then they've incorporated Sisu into Agco. So it's now an Agco engine, which is really Sisu. And uh, they do say they are an amazing engine. And of course, Massey Ferguson have been using Sisu for a while. They are really reliable. Um, and then you've got a 50K or a 60K option on this. It's not a two-speed transmission. It's now only one speed. Um, it's super powerful, all the way up to 283 horsepower you can get out of this thing. And it's sort of halfway between like a Fent 828, the Fent 800 series, and the Fent 724, which was previous to this. So it's that gone from 240 horsepower all the way up to 283 horsepower, which I think is a lot for, for the size of tractor that it is. I, I just wonder what sort of tr person would want to buy this tractor, a contractor, large scale farmers. You know, if you're going up to 283 horsepower, they may as well have the 300 horsepower and then they'll buy an 828 or you know, a nine a nine hundred series. So it'll be interesting to see who buys these tractors, the, the new seven two eights. They do look one amazing looking tractor. It's definitely on my you know, if I won the lottery tomorrow I'd definitely have one of those. But um I just wonder who's gonna buy it. It's it's, it's a very interesting tractor. It's it's sort of like crazy high horsepower but it's quite compact at the same time. Apparently there's only gonna be a limited run of these made. So if you get a build spot slot on one you'll be quite lucky. But I just I don't know which, how many farmers out there have got 250,000 to spend on a Fent, on a new tractor? You could buy two, nearly two brand new Masseys for the price of one Fent, which is crazy. You've really got to be able to, you know, these new Fents have really got to be able to justify their existence on a farm these days. And I, I just wonder how do they justify their increased price? I know they've got Vario Grip and TMS and they do all sorts of clever things to try and reduce fuel consumption and reduce tyre wear and things like that. But you could literally buy, like I say, two Massey Ferguson's for 125,000 each, uh, crash one, drive it in a ditch, burn it, write it off, and you'd still have another Massey. So I, I just don't understand why people would buy one tractor for 250,000 pounds. It's really extortionate, but maybe that's because the, you know, the savings of them, the fuel savings are, are astronomical. Um, I know things have gone up a lot these days, but uh, it is eye-watering some of the prices of this new kit these days. And then there's the build time, you know, you're looking at a three or four year waiting list of some of this kit. I mean, I, I just don't know what's going to happen. And I think secondhand kit will just go up and up in value now because of this. And the other thing is, is they're so complicated, these new tractors. I mean, it's lovely, the 728, but you look in the cab, it's got a computer screen for the dashboard, a computer screen next to you, a computer screen which comes out the roof. I mean, how long is that all gonna last in the long term, really? I know it's still beneficial for efficiency and all the rest of it, but, um, but I will say, at least Fent are innovating, they're doing something a bit different. And I'd love to see from John Deere something to compete with Fent. Uh, I haven't really seen anything which looks as good as the 728, say in John Deere, yeah. Uh, there's the 6R250, which looks quite good. Um, I just feel John Deere could just do something a little bit, you know, more innov innovative and, and better to try and improve it. I mean, let me know what you think in the comment section. Would you rather have, uh, today's question will be, the, the John Deere 6R250 against uh, Fence 728. Which one would you have and why? Um, and yeah, are John Deere slipping behind a little bit? I think with this new Fent, a lot of people will be going over to Fent. They, they look the real deal now. You know, 60K is an option. Vario grip to reduce tyre wear. The TMS system as well is amazing. And then you've got that amazing torque from a 7.5 litre Agco engine, which will be super reliable. Um, or maybe you'd just be better off to go and buy a Massey Ferguson. You get the same engine, uh, Agco engine. You get a Vario, Fent Vario transmission if you option it. And they are, the Massey Fergusons are actually proving to be uh, quite a good value for money, I think, compared to the price of uh, some of these fence nowadays. I mean, you could actually buy a house for a price of a fent. Ridiculous. They've really got to justify their place, I would say, on a farm. So, uh, yeah, with that, thanks for watching. We'll be out doing some land work before long when the weather's better. Catch you on the next one. Click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another Ollie's Farm video.